morning. When I first got up this morning, we're at Gorapec. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. In the last half an hour, all this mist has come in. So the mountains you could see behind me here are now in thick cloud. The same for the one in front of me here and the one behind. So as again, every morning we get up and it's lovely and within the first hour or two you can't see anything. This morning we're going to climb up to where that peak is in the, in the cloud for the acclimatisation walk. From there you're supposed to, be to see a 360 degree of all the peaks around here. I think at this rate we'd be lucky to see anything. It has been a bit disappointing the low cloud and fog and mist but uh, that must be be where we are but hopefully we'll get above it today and then tomorrow uh, it'll be clear but in the lap of the weather gods which haven't so far been very um, very kind at all so we just have to bear with it and uh, see see what we get so left this morning about seven o'clock there's our hotel down there and that's where we're going up there an acclimatization day so we're just doing over 600 meters the weather this morning seems so much more improved so if you look over there absolutely phenomenal views hopefully this cloud will burn off all these little I'm not sure what these are i have to ask our friend over here what these are and uh, we'll carry on walking we're just having a slurp of water before we head on up there so made good time already problem is as soon as you start putting a load on your body you're just completely out of breath and that's the issue so the further they go up it seems to be clearing you can actually see some of the bigger peaks that's around here really nice to see after what, four days walking, five days walking, to actually see some of the mountains is phenomenal. This is what we're here for. This is what we paid the money for and came all this way. This is why I've enjoyed, endured four days of climbing up and up and up. Well over 4,000. Should we get over 5,000 today? Oh, goodness gracious me. What a sight. The trek to summit was really hard going. Depending on the weather, you either go halfway up to the small shrine that's about halfway up but as the weather cleared and we could start to see the summit we decided to push on it was an extra at least hour and a half to two hours to get to the summit but the views were absolutely incredible it was a hard day and it just seemed like we was going uphill from breakfast all the way up to the top the summit didn't realize when i sat down it was just a sheer drop about a thousand foot below and I saw the tourists there as well, but um, really pleased that we did that. 5,050 meters summit, and um, it was really worth it. Coming back down was a lot easier. Um, it's one of those that you climb high and sleep low. Not sure where the yaks were going, because they seemed to be in the middle of nowhere. I think they were just wandering around wild and feeding, but uh, lots to see on the way down. Until the weather closed in, as you can see, the fog and low-lying mist and cloud has really come in, so the views at that moment so, really deteriorated, orbs, but it's Nepal, so one minute it can be thick fog, can't see anything, the next minute it can be bright blue skies. It's just the nature of being in the Himalayas and at such an altitude that you can have four seasons in, in one day. The path was fairly easy going, not um, too too difficult, there's no scrambling involved, it's just a steady plod up on a, on a steep embankment as you can see we gain and lose height quite quickly. You can't see the accommodation from here because it's clouded in mist but you can see all the prayer flags and all, and all the piles of stones as you walk past. You can see them all the way up on the Everest trek and all the way back down again there's just you don't have to go very far to see something it's very photographic and very iconic not sure who put all these prayer flags out but it must take some doing and they must have some strong rope as well because the wind up there can be brutal
at the top um, as overlooking the, the town and our accommodation I decided to stop there for a bit and just take in the atmosphere the sun cleared and um, the clouds cleared and it was really nice just sit there in the peace and quiet watching the world go by it's what you come for I didn't want to sit in a tea house all night because some of them are quite chilly until they get the fire on later on but just sitting there and, and absorbing the atmosphere and the views which were absolutely stunning the others have gone down to the lodge it's only down there about five minutes, five, five minutes from Hotel Good Luck actually nice, just be on this mountain on your own so peaceful look at the high peaks coming and going in the clouds they're there, they're not, and they reappear sun keeps trying to come out but we're on the high Himalayas so it's to be expected look at the 6,000 meter peak here, the wind is really steaming through, you can see how fast that's going through awesome peak I'm just coming back into view now amazing sights how fast is that going down the valley there you go, the peak's just coming into view now you might see it for a glimpse and then it's gone same as this side as well Thank you.